How is a car actually built, and how can a factory roll out a car almost every minute? This is an Audi Volkswagen production workshop where two Volkswagen vehicles can leave the line every minute. In this episode of Car Production, we will show you how the body and the chassis come together. What you are seeing now is the chassis mating station for the Jetta. The entire mating system comes from Siemens in Germany. Here, the assembled chassis and the body line up and connect in about 10 seconds. This is the moment they are joined together with high precision. After that, the conveyor moves the vehicle to the next station where a technician installs bolts using a tightening gun. The tightening gun comes from Atlas Copco in Sweden, a global leader in industrial tools. Its torque control is extremely precise. Another technician installs four bolts on the rear suspension, followed by two bolts on the shock absorber. The power tool used here comes from Bosch in Germany. After pre-tightening, the Atlas Copco automatic tightening gun completes final tightening on the rear suspension and shock absorber bolts. Do not underestimate these tools. One tightening gun can cost more than a whole car. Next, several shock absorber mounting bolts are tightened by hand, followed by pre-tightening the engine mount bolts. Final tightening comes later. Have you noticed why factory installed bolts usually show no tool marks? Now the pre-tightened bolts move into final tightening. This step uses KUKA robots from Germany and Atlas Copco tools from Sweden. Shock absorber bolts are a key station, and Volkswagen relies entirely on robots here, representing the most advanced method in the industry. Once tightening is complete, the pallet automatically separates from the body, and the body continues down the line. The fuel tank filler pipe is installed next, allowing fuel to enter the tank. Two fixing bolts are tightened. A protective plate is installed for the lower control arm to prevent scraping, followed by a metal shield to protect the catalytic converter. Some cars leave the chassis exposed underneath, but the Jetta uses protective panels on both sides. These panels protect the chassis from stones, debris, mud, and scratches. Fixing bolts are tightened. Another technician installs a protective plate on the rear suspension to reduce stone damage and corrosion. Next, the charcoal canister is installed. The wiring connector is plugged in to power the diagnostic pump. The canister is placed into its slot. The fuel vapor line is connected, and a fixing bolt is tightened underneath. Before moving on, the technician checks his work by hand. A Bosch wrench loosens the bolts on the air conditioning compressor. The high pressure and low pressure lines are then connected. The larger pipe is the low pressure line and the smaller pipe is the high pressure line. High pressure refrigerant flows to the condenser while low pressure refrigerant returns from the evaporator. At this point, chassis assembly is complete. Follow along and in the next episode, we will continue with interior assembly.